Excuse me. Ladies, uh, if I may, um, which one of you likes to use this stuff? It's strawberry lust dust. Oh, that'd be me. Strawberry lust. Right, strawberry lust, the one and only. I'm sure you thought long and hard about that stage name, right? We'd like to speak with you in private. No, not in private. I just ask you a few questions here. All right, don't you know something weird? Did you hear watching? Why don't you just go outside? It's not weird, baby. Lots of people like to watch. Oh, thank you. I, I get tremendous satisfaction out of observing a whole variety of activities. I just like to ask you a couple questions. Your boyfriend's shy, isn't he? <laughs> Sweet. That'll be 60 bucks. Okay, I got that. Bones, that's what I got. Hey, yes. relax. <laughs> She's going to be enjoying this too. Right. Whoa. Right. Oh. Oh. Not so interested in talking now, are you, baby? You have excellent control of your hips. So I've been told. Well, um, Miss Lust. Um, it's, I, it's, it's actually, I'm with the uh, FBI, I need to ask you uh, a few questions about maybe a client. FBI? I'm a criminal science major at Georgetown. Huh, yeah, yeah. Here you are, right? Working on student loans. You know it. The school's a fortune. But I think you will pay off your loans very quickly. Loans? She's quite arousing, which I imagine translates into excellent tips. Hey, um, Miss... Lost, um, Alex Newcomb, um, Criterion Cars, uh, Salesman, um, maybe a client of yours? Yeah, sure, regular, what about him? Well, we have evidence that you, um, gave him a lap dance on the night that he died. Died? Whoa. Murder? Can you just answer the, uh... Right, cooperate fully. I aced my freshman criminology class. Um, I gave him a couple of dances Thursday night. He was pretty drunk. Started a fight and Billy had to kick him out. Wait, wait a minute. Am I a suspect? Because all I do is gyrate and I never killed anyone. Uh, did he get into a fight with one of the bouncers? No, with another car salesman. With the Indian guy, Buddy. From Criterion? No, I do. You should go talk to Buddy. Yes, I, I should. Then tell Ms. Lust to get up. I think that might be a little embarrassing right now. Oh, baby. That's my gun. <laughs> Give us a minute. Okay. Outside. What's outside? Can you outside, please? What? Did we get our sixty dollars worth yet? We'll start with a simple exercise um, to recognize emotions from facial expressions. Then I'll give you skills to deal with those emotions. Okay, just give me a moment. Okay. You're ill. Ill? No, Dr. Brennan, no. Ill is not even an emotion. My brow's furrowed, mouth slightly open, eyes quizzical. I'm expressing confusion and its corresponding vulnerability. What are you confused about? It's not important at this point. Now it's just important to recognize that when someone is vulnerable, you have the opportunity to help them feel secure, thereby gaining their trust and forming a relationship. Having this skill can, uh, it can enrich all aspects of your life. And not just supply the world with dishonest car salesmen. No. Let's try another one. Okay. What, what is wrong? I, you are very intolerant, sweets. I am doing the best that I can. That's right, that's right. I was expressing anger. Excellent recognition. Very poor response to it, though. Should I become physical? No. Well, not if you're trying to establish an emotional connection. You think the booth is trained like this? Some people just have a natural ability. But, hey, hey, Dr. Brennan, you're a brilliant woman, and you'll get there. 